In this video, we are going to continue with derivatives of exponential functions. You will find this on page 480 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Differentiate with respect to x. This example, now if I make it a little bit bigger, I want to do that so that you see the exponents. Now, if you look at this example, there is a 2, and in this example, there's a root. So, in these examples, the index is not like the previous x to the power of 1, but it's x to the power of 2 or it's x to the power of a half. So, we use the chain rule. Now, how do we do that? So, we break it up. So, y equals eu and u equals this. So basically, we're just going to differentiate. This stays the same. This becomes 2x. And as soon as we multiply, we're just going to rewrite that. Okay. The same here. If we break up, now this is 2eu, and u is just um, x to the power of half. So this stays the same. This is, I bring the half, I subtract 1, so it's negative half. I bring it down, I put it underneath the root. And then look, this 2, because this 2 is on top, and this is at the bottom, and I end up with this. Okay, so just use the chain rule. I want you to stop the video, and I, I think I'm going to let you do both. So do, let's just move it a little bit down. And to make it bigger, <coughs> so you see the exponents better. Okay, I think this is better. So we're just going to move this up. So do for me number A, B, and C. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, this is Y is equal to E. I will show you the short way also now, but first let's do, do the long way. So there's a 3, so I use the chain rule, so make it E equals, okay, don't forget that this is going to become U, so E U, and U is equal to X3 minus 4. So dy by du, it stays E U, and du by dx is going to become, oh, just my pin, 3x squared. And if I multiply, then this will cancel out. So dy by dx equals eu multiply 3x squared. So it's just going to be 3x squared. E and substitute u, what was u? It was x to the power of 3 minus 4. And that will be my final answer. Now, if you want to do the short way, it's, it's actually just you differentiate this, did you see, and put it in front, and then you just rewrite this one. That's what happened there. Okay. But I think in the beginning, rather do the long way, I think it's going to help you. So y is equal to 7. There's a, this is now two terms also. Okay, first let's get it ready for differentiation. We don't like roots. So if it's, it's going to be 7, and this is going to be e to a half x or x over 2. Let's make it a half x. And this bring it up so it's minus e and it's negative 2x. Okay, so if I if I'm going to differentiate this now, now this this is actually now not so difficult because it's only x to the power 1, x to the power 1. It's just two terms. So if I differentiate, keep it, so dy by dx. Can you remember, we just take the value in front of x and we multiply it with the whole term. Okay, and this is going to be negative 2, the value in front of x, and multiply the whole term.
And if I simplify this, this is going to be 7 over 2. Uh, this is going to be e to the power of x or x over 2. Plus, this is going to become a positive 2. And I can e to the power negative 2x. And I just want to show you. Oh, my pen. You can also write it as 7 over 2. Oh, goodness. If you want, you can bring this one down. Fine. That is your other option. Okay, let's do the last one. Let's just create space first. This is number C. So this is Y is equal to 3. And again, it's, there's the 2. Okay, but first, let's just multiply this out. So it's 3E e, X2 minus 6X. So if you differentiate, now don't forget that this one is the chain rule. This one is, is just normal differentiation. So if I use the chain rule here, um, I can, um, I, I think I'm just going to show you on the side. You can do it on the short way, but I, I just want to show you here. I'm just going to make it like this. And I'm just going to show you. Say, for example, you differentiate this. Okay, and if you use the chain rule, you can use it like this, 3 e u, and u is equal to x squared. So dy by du is equal to 3 e u, and du by dx is equal to 2x. And if you multiply this two, this cancel, so dy by dx will then just give you 6, x e u okay and what was u u was just e don't forget u is just x to the power of 2 so basically all that you're doing this one if you want to do the short way and i want to show you this it's just you differentiate this one so if this one it's going to be 2x and you just multiply it with this original one so it's it's basically going to be 2x multiply with the original one. Do you see? And that will also give you 6x e x squared minus 6. That's just a normal differential. I just forgot dy by dx. Because there I was just getting it ready, but in this step I was differentiating and I have to indicate that.